What's up guys, this is Onara Chaudhary of Ads Group aka Isolation Media. Uh, as you can see, in my desktop there are many game engine and I'm, I'm learning it. And I think it will be good for learning Lumberyard also because for graphics Lumberyard will be good and you know Unreal is very best for graphic. But Lumberyard is me medium and I like it also, I will learn it also for you only, I will teach you also. but let's carry on with unity for making simple games and let's continue the tutorial of dancing line you will also love the love it with this video you will love it because uh, i will show you how to create the effects in dancing line means the cue in the background they are up up uh, getting up and down up and down i will show you how to do that so let's boot up unity and open the project dl of power what happened oh again using one terrain is bit harder i think so so you can see oh my movement script let delete it or you will think that cheating I have done so <coughs> nothing goes wrong now so that's done or not uh, for a kind information I have added one capsule collider uh, that height of Y will be 1 that is 0 0.5 and 0 2 and nothing else for colliding and and nothing else and save my skin uh, skin only so let's start with the main thing the effects what happened now so let's test it let it do one two one two and it's working the our last tutorial so here uh, our cc standard my character is here so let's create one folder for scripts l c r i p t s scripts let's take the rotate to script okay now we will use trigger here for the movement of some boxes you think i think so so first let's create one cube So here is one cube in the origin position and you know that if you make a child of one object the position of the object will position rotation and the scale scale will not, doesn't matter position and rotation of the object will be as far as the uh, parent of the object as you know so yeah I think it's come true so here it is control z make it is trigger we will use trigger means if it hits something it will trigger uh, something that we will write in code okay so name it cube name it trigger so it's a john and just untick the mesh renderer and given the name and the color so that we can find it so here it is our trigger and okay so let's make one uh, object for example for taking it example for that scale it bigger so that not much so that it will catch in our camera only this thing only will be good so hit it here only so that you can see okay and make the cube outside of the C standard I want it for the reference only so here is also uh, yeah the cube must have a rigid body 
and it will be e kinematic save the scene i have made the scene itself it oh these errors are just horrible so yeah here we are our trigger is ready oh no triggers are non collidable i think uh yeah triggers are non collidable i will also show you uh, the cc standard how to make it a uh, rigid body also i will add rigid body also let's add rigid body i think use gravity only and it must work oh the constant of the rigid body sorry freeze the rotation 1 2 3 so that you must not fall because it is a capsule collider so it will fall as moving and it is it was stopped by the cube my cube let's make one material so that we can identify the white background blah 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 so hectic make a folder name it materials oh no i have materials no it was cc cc sandals <coughs> materials too i think get it out create material brown will be good uh brown name it brown brown here it is and hit it to the cube so as you can see it's brown yeah yo and triggers are non collidable so why time waste let's work with trigger add a new comp uh, component meme it movement as i named earlier wait and add let it as it is recording i think it is hanging and blah blah so fast fast done done yeah done let's edit the script I will use the function on trigger enter as you know it is a east trigger object so I will use a trigger for the movement of the object also I will use vector 3 dot lerp go for unity documentation documentation and uh, see the vector 3 dot lerp how it works it takes vector uh, vector 3 from vector 3 2 and vect and the time fraction it will take so let's start with our coding void on trigger enter collision or collider error it will be also so how to define the object in the collider let's see other what happened yeah other dot game object dot it will be transform also dot position equal to vector 3 dot lerp yeah now you will see that vector 3 dot lerp you will see vector 3a vector 3b and float t many of the youtube tutorial so that we need a position of for the uh, two vector I mean, uh, vector 3b uh, object for reference of the position and i will tell you we do not need it because it needs vector 3 only many of the tutorials uh, say that make a cube here uh, down the object then move it to that position no need no need we will work with one script only so, so let's start the to from position will be other the game object dot transform dot position yeah comma then now you will see that we will need vector 2 so let uh, we need the cube to go i will not take a uh, up i will take it down so it will go minus let it be minus 4 okay control z let it be minus 4 it will go minus 4 so we will take new as you know new means vector 3 will change to the new vector uh, the new position 
we will we are defining the new position so other for fixing the we are only uh, working with the y position so we will fix it to the uh, position of the x so other dot game object dot transform dot position dot x comma with the y will minus 4 comma let's copy it and replace the x with z axis control v let be z and the fraction of time will be speed that will be defined by us only into time dot delta time means the uh, frames yeah cool. so we have this big script here just follow me i am also telling that other dot game object dot transform dot position equals vector 3 dot love means takes vector 3 a vector 3 b and time fraction means float t other the game object the transform the position means original position will be that only the two position i am defining a new vector 3 other the game object the transform the position dot x to x of y will be minus 4 that uh, that is defined by us only and the z will be fixed as x axis only we are defining the time fraction will be speed that uh, that will be defined by us let it be public a sorry float speed equals one by default that will be s yes. let's see what's happened what's happening now yeah it works as well so you know that it only changed the position a bit only but I have given minus 4 so why it is not moving because the function on trigger enters only work for only one frame not all the frame B uh, means if the trigger is hitting this it will be work for only one frame and the distance uh, it travel for one frame only it will give us the output as that only so we don't want that we want that it will be uh, fully moving downward so let's create one function private void position change this is our function so copy the fun copy the whole thing in this now as you know other will not be defined in the position change we can't define also so let's hit one private game object private game object root our root game object let it be so here will be first giving root equal to other dot game object when we means root will be defined as other dot game object that will be given here so let's change all the other to root in the function position change root Too much roots. Root. Root. And no need here. So now create one bull. Public. Let it be private. Private. Bull. Is lurping or not? So is lurp. Now, if the trigger hits the game object, means this. So the lurp will be true, and it will uh, go for the update function, which will, uh, which is we know that it is a 
loop of frames so it will be continue to get downward so as we know update function and yeah initialize the isler bool to be false we know it will be false only so if it dot collider is lerb will be true and here in update we will give a if statement if is lerbs equals equals true then it will go for the position change get the position change here position change and i think it will work now let's see now yeah it's working but we need it fast so <coughs> so in trigger we will give it uh, 1.5 sorry it's too big to far 105 1.5 so it will be go for a fast so yeah it's working so you can create effects i'm only the torch bearer for you and the thinking is yours only and it's working so let's create the cube a uh, much control d for making the dummy of that make it here so Let's see now. One, two. Now what happened? One, two. Yes, it works. So then again, Control D. Sorry, Control Z. D let it be here now i think something is making our game one two oh i think that uh, was not in that position it will be forward for the cg standard because trigger is small so one two and three it's work so thank you guys this was a simple tu tutorial of making the fx and yes go for the itch.io yeah i think i gave comma there and search for isolation media Here uh, is our guru, and just follow us. Uh, we are isolation media. Our games are in development only. Uh, just see how our games are made. <coughs> Make inspiration from that. Take inspiration for that. But yes, you can also open YouTube and just hit subscribe and like this video. Uh, our, as you know we are as group for YouTube as group so thanks guys so I will hit it for you only I think I open one video what is that I don't know so for last thing one two three so thanks it works i'm saving my scene for your next video thanks